in this video uh, a lot of circuits that I published in the past and I have to move with my camera because when I put my camera on a stable place um, the video is not good. So anyway, these are the resonant frequencies from all kinds of capacitors published by by the murder Kring in the Netherlands. All capacitors, all kinds of capacitors have specific resonant frequencies and also the the length of the wires plays a role when you want to um, test that property, the resonance frequency. So ceramic capacitors 47 picofarad is 177 megahertz, 50 picofarad is 210 megahertz, etc. etc. Okay, to the next schematic. It's a schematic from a VHF oscillator tunable by its working point. There are a lot of videos on YouTube about this schematic. So I pass the next videos that all have to do with this circuit. This is by the way the ideal circuit can generate all frequencies between say 30 megahertz and 110 megahertz. When you change the value from the 22k potentiometer. I had a lot of critical comments from say uh, scientists and people that know it, but anyway it's a good schematic and I'm sure you can develop it further. More videos on my YouTube channel. A oscillator, local oscillator, 1.3 MHz up to 4.2 MHz. The schematic working point and oscillation is set with this 2.5 sorry 25k potentiometer or 22k potentiometer doesn't matter it works more oscillator videos on my youtube channel oscillator for kind of low frequency. It all has to do with the earlier video that I published. As local oscillator 11 up to 14 megahertz with a field effect transistor. Also somewhere I think on my YouTube channel or in my books. Local oscillator, also with a field effect resistor, a G310, it works very properly, all was tested. All the circuits that I've published are tested and made in real, no theory. Uh, also an oscillator. With a field effect resistor, the back coupling coil here. Going to the next video, sorry, to the next picture. Also, an, again, an oscillator. Quite strange, by the way, the gate 
is more or less shortcutted to ground by a, a capacitor. But it works. And I think that the wiring here plays a role because it works on 26 megahertz. So that's quite a quite high frequency. And the wiring here uh, acts as a kind of coil. So something to test. That's important. So don't take anything for granted. Local oscillator for lower frequencies, of course, in all these circuits we use a coil here. A double coil with the face here must be swifted, swapped, I mean, to make it oscillate on the frequency to which the coil is uh, made in the relation to the capacitor. So I stop now, it's six, six uh, minutes, quite long, I had not expected that. But anyway, I go on perhaps with this video on later. And anyway, wish you luck.